What's up my babies? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kay and this is Crown Baller. If you are new, first things first, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn the notification bell on so you know when I post new videos. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Follow me on my social media. It will be on the screen and if not, it will be in the description box below. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's get into this video. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I haven't done any videos like this before on my channel. First of all, let me turn uh, the Incredibles down because y'all a little too loud. I haven't done a video like this on my channel before, but this is something that I have decided to kind of do and I kind of wanted to share with you all. So as y'all can tell from the title, I'm just gonna kind of go through what I eat in a week sort of thing. And it's not necessarily just for weight loss, but it's just like healthier living. I am an athlete, so like I automatically am like, quote unquote, healthy. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, okay? I had some KFC earlier, let's put it that way. So um, today is Sunday and I went grocery shopping. I just got back from the grocery store. I got a few things and I only wanna get stuff for the week just so that I don't get just a whole bunch of stuff and have it in my refrigerator because I am in another country and it's not like the US where you can get stuff and it's gonna last you, you feel me, for a month and some change. This stuff overseas is a lot more healthy, it's a lot more fresh and it's definitely with less preservatives and all that stuff. It's not a lot of food, but it's enough for the week. I did end up spending like $100 at the grocery store, which low key, high key, it's expensive in Australia. I'm just let y'all know that now. It doesn't seem like there's that much stuff to spend $100, but it was 100, trust me when I say that. I just wanted to bring y'all along with me because we gotta do this together. We gotta slim down and get ready for the summer. There are three main things that I really wanna focus on with this. And one is healthier eating, like healthier choices, portion sizes, because I'll eat healthy stuff and then I don't know how to like stop eating it. Like I'll keep going back for seconds and thirds and stuff like that. So portion control is another thing that I wanna work on. And then lastly, I wanna work on being cost efficient. So I'm a person who will have a fully stocked refrigerator and go down the street and get some takeout. So I really wanted to like challenge myself and make myself more disciplined in actually eating the meal prep food that I have in my refrigerator. I feel like if it's already made and just ready for me to just eat, then it'll be a lot easier for me to not spend money and waste away my dollars that I worked hard for. That's the purpose of this video. So if you guys are interested in this, make sure you stay tuned and like i said hit that like button if you guys like videos like this and i'm gonna stop yapping i'm gonna put my groceries away and we're gonna get into this food okay so for tonight's meal i'm just gonna have a simple shrimp salad i have some um baby leaf blend lettuce here and i got this little like thai style um salad kit i'm just gonna add that on top of the little lettuce here is my shrimp i got some tomatoes right here i have a cucumber i have some eggs boiling over here on the stove of course i have my dressing first of all new season of she's got a habit just came out on netflix and your girl is all the way together back to this video so i've already kind of put together my salad i got the greens underneath and then the mixture on top and then of course my red onions cucumber and tomatoes y'all i love tomatoes so i make sure i have an extra helping of that and then here i have my shrimp i've already like deveined it and like you know take took out all the nastiness and all of that good stuff i have a little bit of butter in my pan and i'm just gonna add my shrimp on over this is shrimp for like lunch too this week so that's why it's so much not just for one meal y'all i'm gonna let this sizzle it doesn't take long at all for you know shrimp to cook so we're gonna season a little bit with some black pepper some garlic salt get a good helping of that some all-purpose seasoning so we just gonna add that on there too just because we healthy don't mean you don't have to flavor your food well, i'm gonna let this cook a little bit in the butter and literally maybe like five minutes if that i have my heat on kind of a medium high so we're gonna let this cook for about um four to five minutes and then we're gonna toss it over in our salad i went ahead and add my boiled eggs and then over here this black is um some raisins from time to time i do like raisins in my salad just to give it a hint of sweetness and so now i'm going to add some classic vinaigrette i also have caesar but i was just feeling classic vinaigrette today I'm gonna add a little bit of this on my salad and that is today's meal. I'm about to smash this or whatever. And then tomorrow morning I have weights at 7.30 so I'm gonna get up pretty early and have a healthy meal. So I'll see you guys in the morning, good night. Good morning, I just wanted to show you guys my breakfast before I went to weights. I am gonna eat after I come back from weights but for now that's just what I'm eating. I'm just eating a bowl of Special K with some almond milk and 
some honey in it and it has raisins and fruit and nuts this is my pre my pre weights meal it's about seven o'clock in the morning right now and your girl is definitely still sleeping i'm gonna eat this bowl of cereal and head out because i have to be at the gym by 7 30 and i will see you guys when i get back there's really no muscles here i'm just you know i'm just here all right, my baby, so we're back home. I had a great lift this morning. Now I'm gonna make some, like just another breakfast. I ate a bowl of Special K this morning, as y'all seen, but that was just to kind of get me through weight. So now I'm gonna actually like have a breakfast breakfast. So for my breakfast, I'm actually gonna make some banana pancakes and I'm gonna have some sausage. Y'all, normally I have like, I'll eat turkey sausage, but all they had was pork in there. I don't really eat pork like that, but we're gonna go with that. And then I'm gonna make these three ingredient pancakes. Now I do have actual pancake mix here that I am gonna just kind of add to make them just a little bit more fluffy. But for the most part, it's just gonna be bananas. I'm gonna cook my sausages in the oven. I've already had my oven preheating, so I'm just gonna throw those on in. Throw those in just like that over there. I'm gonna leave them in for about 15 minutes until they get like you know golden brown i kind of like my sausage and bacon just a teeny bit burnt not burnt but like you know like crispy you know, on to my banana pancakes i have three bananas in here and then i put two eggs in there so i'm gonna use my potato masher and i'm just gonna mash them up it would be a lot easier if these um bananas were like a little bit more ripe they literally are like barely yellow so i'm gonna have to put some muscle into these things so i'm gonna mash them up real quick and then i'm gonna come back use my muscles and this is the consistency that we have I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of cinnamon in there just a little bit maybe a teaspoon i'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of this pancake batter not even a half a cup actually maybe like a fourth of a cup just to kind of give it some fluffy consistency. Even though these are supposed to be like three ingredient pancakes, I'm just adding a little fluff. I'm just gonna add a little bit of my almond milk. It's vanilla flavor, just literally a dab. A little dab dab. I have my pan here with some melted butter in there. You guys can use any type of non-stick spray. I just kind of wanted that buttery taste, so I just want some butter in there. We're gonna kind of do this one at a time. I'm just gonna use this like little ladle and fill it up and as you can see my butter is sizzling so i'm just gonna place that in the middle Ooh, that looks so good i might make like two or three of these maybe two since they're kind of big i'm gonna wait until it gets brown and then i'm gonna flip them on over here is the finished meal those are my two pancakes and then those are my three sausages and then i have some mandarin oranges on the side and then i have a, a cup of apple juice on the side and then i have some maple syrup but i also have honey and i don't know which one i'm gonna put on yet let's see how this tastes if i don't like it then i'm just gonna put honey on there but you can put whatever you want on your pancakes you can leave them plain if you want you could put nutella whatever i'm about to smash this meal for my breakfast and then i will see you all for lunch I honestly can't believe I'm on camera looking like this. I need to take my hair down. Welcome back to our afternoon meal. I've already got some things chefing up in here. I have my water warming up for my rice. Got some jasmine rice here. I've cut my chicken breasts in half. They were kind of big, so I cut them in half and I trimmed all the fat off of them. I'm gonna use my little seasoning mixture right here and kind of like pat the seasoning on and then i'm going to place it over in my heated pan with some olive oil on top and we're going to get these searing so y'all can see i got these joints seasoned to the death all right so i'm going to use a fork because i don't really want to keep using my hands and put this on over in the pan we're going to let those cook down while those are cooking we're going to get our sides together so I haven't really told you guys what I was actually making. I'm going to make my version of, of the Chipotle bowl. So like I said, I have the rice, I got my chicken. I'm about to make my pico de gallo. I have my black beans and I have my avocado. I have jasmine rice. If you guys want to use brown rice or even quinoa, something like that, you guys are more than welcome to. This is just what I'm using. I kind of wish I would have got brown rice actually. I don't have any measuring cups, girl. So I got to like improvise, okay? I'm going to take a cup of this. Jasmine rice. I'm just using a little teacup. And I'm going to pour it into my two and a half cups of water right here. 
And in the meantime, I'm gonna kind of clean off my work area. I hate working in a messy area. So I'm gonna clean this up. We're gonna continue to cook our chicken. I'm gonna show you guys how I make the pico de gallo. Okay, y'all, so this is how our chicken is looking now. Might be a little dark on the other side, but that's okay. Oh no, it's perfect. It is perfect. Ooh, it's falling apart too, that's great. That is a great sign. We love tender chicken. So I'm just gonna flip this over one more time, put the lid back on. Putting your lid on kind of makes it absorb its juices and the steam, so it kind of like steams itself. So we're gonna cover that back up and I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit. We got our black beans cooked already. We got our white rice cooked. I'm gonna add some lime and cilantro to that. I heard my little Spanish accent, cilantro, okay. So I'm gonna make our pico de gallo. So all you need to make pico de gallo is tomatoes. I have two large tomatoes, about a fourth, maybe a half of a red onion. And then I have some fresh cilantro right here. So I'm gonna mix this all together. And of course we got some lime. Um, and I'm gonna squeeze this over into that. Let's just do a little taste test here. Mm, that's a banger. We're gonna start to build our bowl a little bit. I already put my rice in and I have my chicken here. I'm gonna let it rest and cool down a little bit. I have avocado. I haven't decided if I wanna make guacamole yet. I am addicted to guacamole, but I haven't decided if I wanna make it yet. So I may just put avocado just on top. Okay, love, so this is the finished product, y'all. That looks so good. And that pico right there, baby, looks fire. I have some water to go with it and an apple. Now I do have some light sour cream on the side. I don't know if I'm gonna use this. Honestly, I probably will, but um, I'm probably just gonna use like a tablespoon and that's all. I love sour cream, like I OD on sour cream when I go to Chipotle. So uh, I'm gonna try not to do that to make this meal like super healthy. It already is healthy, everything is fresh and it looks freaking amazing. So that's my lunch. I'm gonna chow down on this. It's 4.30 and I have to go to the gym for practice at 5.30. So I'm gonna chow down on this and you know, kind of relax until I have to go to practice. Oh, I forgot to say that I also have some gluten-free yellow corn tortilla chips. So I'm gonna chow down on this and then I will see you all for dinner. That weird chicken, is it that? No, I'm, I don't think I'm I think you'd just feel better if you threw up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have to throw up. Let me take my bottle off so I'm not ratchet. Y'all, I freaking love Bridesmaids. It's my best friend's favorite movie. And this part is freaking hilarious. Welcome back. We are at dinner. It is currently 8.45, y'all. I just got home from practice. I just hopped out of the shower. So I know it's pretty late. And that's one of the things that I kind of struggle with because we have practice so late. I kind of eat dinner late because I don't want to eat before practice because then I'm super hungry after. This is a balance that I'm trying to still kind of find. But for now, you know, this is what we have. Now we're gonna make some creamy spinach and chicken alfredo. I have my boiling water on. I have my chicken that I made earlier. Got some baby spinach here, some alfredo sauce, of course, some penne pasta. You can use any pasta you want. I love penne, so I'm gonna use penne. And these are whole wheat, I believe. Yep, those are wheat. And I believe they're gluten-free as well. So as y'all can see, my water is already boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw maybe a cup and a half of pasta into my boiling water let that cook and while i'm doing that i'm going to get our little mixture going so make sure you guys are stirring your pasta so it's not sticking together and to the bottom give it a nice stir i did put some salt in that water just a tiny bit to kind of season the pasta now that my pan is hot i put like maybe a teaspoon of olive oil in it and then i'm going to drop one clove one clove of garlic in there and on top of that, I'm gonna sprinkle some of my baby lettuce in there. Lettuce kind of shrinks down a little bit, so kind of a lot. I'm gonna take this one out. What is this? I'm gonna let that saute a little bit. While I'm letting my spinach kind of saute a little bit, I'm gonna chop a piece of my chicken. I'm just making one serving size for tonight, so um, I'm just gonna take like a small chicken breast and chop it up and throw it over in there. So I went ahead and threw my chicken over in there and I'm gonna add just like one cup. This is my measuring cup today. I'm adding one cup of the Alfredo sauce in there and I'm gonna let that simmer. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this um, grated Parmesan cheese in there as well as some good old black pepper. I love black pepper y'all. Some garlic salt. I love garlic. <laughs> 
as well. So I've turned off my noodles. I'm gonna let them kind of rest here and then I'm gonna drain them and rinse them with cold water to shock the heat. I'm gonna mix this around so that good coverage over the chicken and spinach and all that good stuff. My pasta drain and I'm just gonna pour it over in my sauce. And I'm gonna mix this around so that the sauce and the noodles kinda like get marinated together. Cause we want some marination, you know what I'm saying? Man, this is our finished, I said finished. This is our finished product okay that looks pretty darn delicious i don't know about y'all i did sprinkle a little bit more of that parmesan cheese on top and it just looks freaking amazing look at it just just take a gander looks so good i can't wait to dive in and of course i have my water on the side i really only drink water for breakfast sometimes i'll have apple juice or orange juice for the most part though i will have water so that is all for this video guys i'm so happy that you guys came along with me i just wanted to show you guys what i eat in a day being an athlete and all that good stuff my goal is to not eat out this week no fast food no sweets that's like healthier choices that's my goal for this week so um i just wanted to show you all the first day all these things that i made today are basically gonna have for meal prep for the rest of the week so this will be my meal for the every day pretty much this week. I may switch it up for lunch sometimes, but for the most part, it'll be the same. That is all. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Make sure you give a big thumbs up. Comment down below any comments, questions, or concerns. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Follow me on my social medias. That will be on the screen. And if not, that will be in the description box below. Honestly, give me feedback for this video. I've seen a lot of these videos of what I eat in the day type videos, and they're kind of really just drawn out. I'm just like, let me see the meal. <laughs> I just want to see it. You know what I mean? So I hope that's what I could give you guys today. So I'm going to smash and then I'm going to take my hair down because I'm looking like a raggedy, scraggly doll like nobody loves me. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you again. Now give me a kiss. Mwah.